Hello guys, welcome to another video. This is DIY Electronics Freak and today I'm gonna explain the working of the solid state Tesla coil that I already built in the previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, then follow the link in the description below. So, I'll first explain the working of the control circuitry which drives the Tesla coil, then the full bridge driver topology, followed by the primary and secondary coil. So let's begin. Now here is the circuit diagram of the control circuitry where this is the interrupter, this is the signal generator and these are the drivers. Wait, I'ma make it more simple for you guys. Follow this simple block diagram where this is an interrupter which switches the signal generator on and off following which the whole driver circuit switches on and off at a certain frequency range between 10Hz and 8kHz that is the audible range while the signal generator generates the driving signal at a higher frequency range that is between 40kHz to 200kHz now when there is a positive input on all the four driver ICs then these two non-inverting ICs will push out the voltage from point A and point C. Meanwhile, these two inverting ICs will pull in the voltage from point B and point D to the ground and vice versa. Now here, the gate drive transformers should be made with utmost care or you are definitely going to blow up your MOSFETs. The key to the correct design of the GDTs is correct phasing. As you see here and here, these dots represent the starting point of all the three coils of the trifilla winding. Please pay attention to the MOSFET numbers, their respective terminals of gates and sources and phasing of the GDT. Now here is the full bridge driver circuit which is simply a power edge bridge which drives the primary of the Tesla coil. Now those who don't know what is an edge bridge, I'm not covering this topic in this video. In fact, I'll make a separate video for it. So stay tuned on my channel and I hope you've pressed the bell icon on my channel so that you don't miss any video as soon as I upload. Now coming back to the topic, I'll just review the different components and their functions. As referring to the control circuitry, this is the MOSFET number 1, this is the MOSFET 2, this is the MOSFET 3 and this is the MOSFET 4. As you can see, this is the diode for reverse polarity protection. This is a transient voltage suppressor diode which act as a freewheeling diode for this primary coil. These are on all the 4 sides. This is the gate resistor of 1 watt. This is a 1K resistor for discharging the gate capacitance of the MOSFET. And these are the 15 volt Zener diodes connected back to back to form a voltage clamping circuit. At last, these are the coupling capacitors which allows only AC current to pass and block DC voltages if any in the oscillating circuit. So guys, these are some of the key points to consider while designing a Tesla coil for yourself and there is not much of a rocket science. That's all for today guys, like this video and share this video to all the electronic freaks. And if you are new to this channel, smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Till then, goodbye.